Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little different. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt in two videos in a row. YouTube cardinal, cardinal sin, but I'm too lazy to go change. So that's where we're at with that. But anyways, back to what I was saying before I took my random bird walk. I thought today I would share product empties in regards to crew and the things that I use for crew and just my ride or die products for him because things I thought I would never use I use on the regular with him and things I thought I would use all the time I'm like this is pointless so let's just jump on in before we jump in though don't forget to subscribe to my channel make sure you like this video comment down below what some of your fave baby products are because I am always on the hunt for new things for him you know i'm lucky his skin's not all that sensitive except for if a puppy dog licks him then he gets a little pink and blouchy but other than that he's pretty much a-okay so yeah let's jump on in first things first when i was pregnant with crew my mom was like you need to use drift and i was like what's drift and she was like it's baby soap she was like my my mom used it for me i used it for the three of you if you all don't know i'm the oldest of three i have a brother and a sister my brother's 20 and my sister's 26. yeah so i'm the old lady of the group so anyways my mom was like you have to use draft she's like you know that baby smell and i was like yeah she goes that's draft and i was like all right cool so what did i start what have i used since the day he came out draft Ugh, the sun's starting to set, and of course he's after lighting. So, draft. This is stage one. There's two, two or three stages. Stage one is newborn, and then stage two is like active baby, and then I think they have a stage three is like draft family. Um, this to me is just, you know, that newborn baby smell. Oh, that's this. Um, I love it. It gets out stains. I've actually have used this. Obviously, Crew's 18 months old. I've used this for him now. It gets out food stains. Yes, it has gotten out some poop stains. Um, you know, it's just a great product. Hypoallergenic. This was, let's see, what does it claim? Yeah, it just basically claims that it's hypoallergenic. You're supposed to be able to get 32 loads out of this. And what I really like is there is a little measuring cup here on this on the lid. So based off of what size load you're doing is how much product you should use. So yeah, this is great. It's well, there's a little, you know, there's a little bit left. So yeah, I love it. I'm gonna keep using it for him. Next up are some bath products. I have a few here. I have three actually. First is the Oleogic Essential Oil Care for Babies and Toddlers Stuffy Nose and Vapor Bath. Anytime crew is sick. I use this. I love it. It smells like a, it smells like eucalyptus. You know, I do notice that after I bathe him with this, this is a bubble bath, so it's not like a soap, but after I use this in his bubble bath, he he's his coughs are like, you know he's hawking something up or his nose is just running you know completely and I I you know attribute that to the essential oils in this I got this at CVS I know you can get at Walgreens um you know I'm sure like Target it is a little on the pricier side I want to say it's like $10.99 but if you only use it you know when your little one is sick then it's great they also have I know they have a sleep one that's more lavender I've used that when I've gone to my brother's house, you know, and we've given the kids a bath after, you know, if I go there for dinner time, you know, and it's too late for bugs to get a bath when we get home, I'll bathe them at my brother's house, use the sleep one. It's great. I really love this. This is actually my second bottle. First bottle, I threw it away because I didn't realize I wanted to do one of these videos. And that's that. Next is Vapor Bath. This is CVS brand Vapor Bath. It's soothing comfort. This is basically like a dupe for the Johnson Soothing Vapor Bath. Again, crew was sick. I was out of the oleogic. Our seat, local CVS was out as well. And so Corey went with this. I liked it. Do I like the oleogic better? 100%. This is, doesn't smell as like essential oily. Like this to me smells more like fake stuff, but hey, it worked okay. Crew's nose was running, you know, he was coughing, but I'm telling you not like with the oleogic. So I use this while I repurchase it. Probably not. I have used <clears throat> three types of baby wash with crew. 
I have tried the Johnson's like lavender, like, oh, the sleepy time lavender. Didn't like it. He, it dried out his skin so bad. And I love Johnson and Johnson. Then I tried the good old Johnson and Johnson shampoo, baby wash, all in one. I really liked it. Um, but unfortunately I like this one better. And this is the Aveno, Aveno baby lightly scented wash and shampoo with the oatmeal. Oh my gosh. You can't even come on. There we go with the um, oatmeal. This is tear-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, gentle cleansing for hair and body. I have used this since he was born. It has never once broken him out. It has never once dried out his skin. It cleans him and it gives him that like fresh, clean baby smell. I love it. It's the bomb. Um, I have one right now that's like halfway used. One of these can last us because I only use, you know, maybe like that much, you know, body wash to wash him. Um, one of these can last me like two, two, two and a half months. Um, so yeah, I love it. Now, to go into after bath care, lotion and powder. So here we go. My fave lotion, powder, and booty cream. Because, you know, you got to put the creams on the booty so they don't get dapper rash. So, let's hop into lotion. So, the lotion for that Aveeno um, Soothing is the Aveeno, the Aveeno Baby Soothing Relief Moisture Cream. I love it. It smells very oatmeal-y. This does not have like a, oh, this is the Johnson and, like, I love the Johnson and Johnson pink lotion for like the summertime. That's great because it's like a thinner formula. However, in the wintertime, Crew takes after me and he gets extremely dry skin. And I was using the Johnson and Johnson lotion and it was not cutting it. I changed to this lotion and, you know, his skin wasn't all crusty anymore. So, we like Aveeno Baby. We're in Aveeno Baby household. So, yeah, I love it. Will you get that? Oh, fresh little itty bitty baby smell. No, that that is the only downside to this is you don't get that like Johnson & Johnson baby powder fresh baby smell. But you, it's a clean baby smell. You know? I feel like everyone has like that baby. It knows the baby smell I'm talking about. This doesn't smell like it, but it's this comes in clutch and it's bomb. So, it's great. Next is a product. I got a sample size. I have not bought the big size because I like it, but I'm like, do I, I don't know if I want to spend the money, but I probably will. And it is the Burt's Bees Nourishing Lotion. I got a little sample size, like I said. And this smells so good. This smells like honey. And didn't break out Bubba's. It was nice on my hands after I used it. I just went like this, put it on my hands. And it was great. I got this as a baby shower gift in like a Burt's Bees, um, like mama basket. And sorry, I'm like making myself more comfortable. So yeah, I really like this. So if you are a Burt's Bees fan, the Burt's Bees baby, there we go. Burt's Bees baby nourishing lotion is the bomb. As I'm literally just like tossing this stuff on the floor because it's about to go in the trash when I'm done. Next, powder. <clears throat> am I one of those people that's like, ah, oh, my baby needs talc-free powder? No, I'm not. But do I try to make a conscious effort if I go to the store to buy talc-free baby powder? Yes. Whoops. Hold on, dropped it. I'm back. This is the Johnson & Johnson Aloe and Vitamin E. I have a ba little baby ones, baby size one for, or tra I'm sorry, travel size for my baby bag. And I have the big kahuna size for obviously here at home. This powder is hypoallergenic and it's tested with dermatologists. This is the powder that is talc free. It is a cornstarch based powder. Base powder. Crew had a diaper rash. Um, he had a stomach flu. And with the stomach flu, he had diarrhea. He got a pretty bad diaper rash. Um, so I through research and you know working alongside with his pediatrician I was advised to go get cornstarch base powder which was great because I already had this here at home and this is a cornstarch base powder um, right here first ingredient is cornstarch there you go 
And I like the vitamin, the aloe and vitamin E. This stuff smells so good. Mm, this will get you that fresh little baby smell. So if you're using a product that doesn't give you the baby smell, use a baby powder. You're going to get that smell. Okay, so these are great. I did repurchase. I have repurchased both of these. I have a new brand new one of these travel size aloe vera or aloe and vitamin E powder in my baby bag. And he has a new big kahuna one in his room as we speak. Next order of business. And then I only have three more, four more products. All right, cool. Butt cream. I love two types of butt cream. The Bordeaux's butt paste. Amazing. I have a tub of it thanks to my brother and my sister-in-law as well as a little spatula. That's what we have in his room right now. And I love good old Desitin. And you can't argue that Desitin is the bomb. I have tried every single type of baby butt cream. Desitin and Bordeaux's butt paste are hands down my favorite. Absolute favorite. I stopped using the Bordeaux's butt paste when Crew was sick back and had the stomach flu back in December because he had a little part piece of his rash, TMI, but he had a little piece of his part of it, the rash just wouldn't get better. So I stopped using the Bordeaux's butt paste, started using the Desitin. It cleared up in like, I think five or six, five to seven days. Um, a little bit goes a long way, you know. Do you, if you want to lather your baby's booty up in, in this so the cows come home like me, go for it. If you want to be very spare, you know, use this very sparingly, go for it. But yeah, this is just, it's a zinc oxide daily defense, 13% zinc oxide diaper rash cream. It, pro it protects against diaper rash from the first use. Use this with a diaper rash, without a diaper rash, precautionary purposes, healing purposes, Whatever purpose is going to fit your needs, use it, okay? But yeah, Desitin, and I mean, this is an oldie but a goodie. My grandma, when Crew had his diaper rash, I called my grandma and I was like, grandma, I was like, grandma, because that's what I call her, I call her grandma. And she was like, yes. And I said, what did you use, like, for a diaper rash? And she's like, well, I used Desitin. And I said, okay, so I, I used Destin. And then my aunt also told me about using Vaseline because my cousin would get terrible diaper rashes. I did that as well. That came in clutch as well. So thank you, Aunt Christy, for the Vaseline tip. But Destin, go get you some. Is bomb. If you, any of you guys have a different diaper, you know, diaper rash cream, put it down below that I didn't mention. Put it down below. I'd be, like I said, I'm going to try it. I'd be totally down to try it. Next are diapers wipes and booger wipes so let's go ahead and talk about um we'll do wipes first so the wipes i use are the target brand fragrance free the blue ones these ones are the best wipes these ones or the the costco kirkland brand i just don't i'm too lazy to drive over to costco so i just drive down the down the way i go to target it's great i buy these in bulk you can buy a box i think it's like 10 or 12 come in a box, maybe eight. I could be totally wrong. But I love these fragrance three. Like I said, they don't break crew out. Um, I use these on his face, on his body, you know, Twinkie, Bucky, Weebles, the whole nine, and he's good. Next are boogie wipes. Like I said, little man, it was like December and January, like kicked his booty with being sick. He had a stomach flu, then he had an upper respiratory infection, and then he got his molars. And he just Okay, sorry, my husband FaceTimed me. So, booger wipes. Like I said, Crew was just getting his butt kicked with, you know, being sick back to back. And so these came in clutch. I love these. It's literally just like a natural saline wipe. Um, you know, they're kind of like a baby wipe, but they're meant for boogers. And I love these. So the boogie wipes made with natural saline. Um... Simply Unscented Booger Wipes. I love these. And this is a product when I got these, I was like, for my baby shower, I was like, baby wipes? Okay. Like rebranded baby wipes. But no, they're not rebranded baby wipes. They are meant to get like the dry, crusty boogers. You know, those boogers that you see on kids and you're just like, ew, why? These will get those off and it'll be amazing. Now. Last but not least, my favorite diapers for crew, hands down, and I have tried every single diaper out there, 
are the Target brand Up and Up 12 hour protection with the little blue circles and the whales on them. Hands on the best. I was too lazy to drive down to Target for a little bit and I was just like going and buying diapers, you know, basic, um, I'm gonna say containers of diapers, packages of diapers. I bought these two. First off was the Huggies Little Snuggler. And Crew is in the size, he's size 3, 16 to 28 pounds because he's a little peanut. He's only 22 pounds. Um, I do like these. However, they're not great for all night wear. If you are still waking, if your little one is still waking up throughout the night and you, you know, feed and then change, these are great. But I noticed that with Crew, if I didn't wake him up by like 6 or 6.30 to change his diaper, it was going to leak through. And it just, nah. Sometimes I want to sleep in, okay? Like especially on the weekends. Next are these, the Mickey ones. Again, they're the snug and dry. They're cool. These ones have, actually, I prefer these ones over these ones. These ones have a little Winnie the Pooh. They're okay. They're all right. But these ones are really cool. They have like a gel in, like a gel. I don't know if insert's the right word, but they have like a gel sh like pad strip. Almost think of like a maxi pad, but they have like a gel pad. And so it's like for extra absorption. These ones will last all night long. However, I haven't been able to find these in bulk. So that's why I use my Target ones. But yeah, those are just a few products that I use for Little Man, you know, and that I have found that I, you know, repurchase on a regular basis. So, you know, like I said, if you guys have any, you know, baby products that you use that you love and that I do not mention, please, please, please let your girl know down in the comments. Like I said, I'm always on the hunt for new, you know, and different products. I'm down to try anything. I mean, crew's down to try anything. You know, that's just, that's our vibe here. We're just open to suggestions my friends so yeah please don't forget to subscribe to, my, to subscribe to my channel make sure you like this video and thanks so much for hanging out with me i'll see you all in the next video bye